I am at Ivy Matthew Farms, located outside of Great Falls, South Carolina, near the little town of uh, White Oak. This is a, ba a group of uh, Angus-based cattle. You can see in previous genetics that uh, that uh, some of the cows uh, that have been, been kept and used in this was uh, of Charlet cross and Scimitol cross. There is one or two reds in there, and that came come from a recessive gene off the Angus. Now these calves will have had at, at sale date. They will have had two rounds of vaccines, with and two rounds of uh, blackleg. They also will have been wormed a couple of times as well. This is showing you some of the Simmental influence that were in the, in, in the cattle on that particular ca calf. Now these cattle will have been weaned and vaccinated uh, 30 plus days at that time of, of shipping. They, uh, they are on, as you can see, they're eating out of a feeder at the time. They're on a 30-day uh, preconditioning feed uh, from Perina. It's a 30-day feeding program that they're on. But these calves are not overly fleshed. They are good, good, just a good medium flesh cattle. There's a, can't see him real well, but there's a, there he is, uh, one of the two or either three reds that's in the bunch is a red Angus. There's another one of your spot uh, showing cemetery tall cross type. These are an excellent set of uh, turnout type calves. I'll know the weights on them and it will be given uh, in the catalog at sale day and, and given the weights after a sample weighs made. But they appear to be uh, high five, light six weight calves at the present average. But they will be an excellent set of turnout type calves. Again, just an excellent set of turnout type steers and heifers, which there will be one group of steers and one group of heifers. At I Ivy Matthews Farm, located outside of Great Falls uh, on Winsboro, South Carolina, off of I-77.